Wait, now that I think about it, how do UK police officers catch anyone? You better come back here, buddy. Yo. What's good, YouTube? Today we're gonna be looking at the wildest courtroom escapes. If it's life, oh, best believe I'm making that GTA heist getaway. We're gonna see what this video is about. If you're watching from YouTube, make sure you guys join us on Twitch. We'll have every day links in the description. Without further ado, let's get started. This is Rashad Hawkins. He's on the second floor of the Meigs County Courthouse in Tennessee. Say on God, his ass gonna jump out of this shit. Just look at him, bro. He just looks like he did it. He was just sentenced to serve time in jail. How for much? Failure to pay child support. And before your ass escaped because you couldn't pull out. Maybe you should have tried escaping when you was hitting them strokes and you was about to. You know what? You could run away from court, yes, but you can't run away from them payments. You're done, buddy. Before the deputies could detain Hawkins. He fled the courtroom. Now on the security camera, he hops the railing and is barely hanging on before he lets go. And the deputy appears not to follow. Keep your eye on Hawking's legs as they dangle from the floor above. With that nigga got tossed like a rag doll, bruh. To nobody around, he hops up like nothing happened, running to the exit. The thing is, I don't get this. I get it if he was gonna serve jail time. Do you even get jail time for failure to support child support? No, right? They just take your money or your possessions and, and somehow try to pay them, right? What are you running from, bruh? <laughs> you still go need to pay the child support. The first and second floor come to check on all the commotion. And by then, Hawkins is long gone. He was on the run for just shy of three weeks until he was arrested over 200 miles away. Oh. On the run for just shy of three weeks until he was arrested over two. I see why it was 20 days and not two years. Nigga can't even look the way he's going. I don't know if he's going north or south, bruh. That's how he got caught up. His ass didn't know which direction to go. 200 miles away. In addition to the outstanding warrant from Tennessee, he was hit with a list of new charges. From criminal trespassing to assault on a police officer to resisting arrest. So all you had was them baby payments, but now your ass got triple whammy on top of it. All for running. Uh, you know what? I don't know what to say. Some people are just stupid. This is Jason Cordero in the Rochester's Hills courtroom in Michigan. He was just sentenced to 90 days in jail for disorderly conduct and retail fraud. So <laughs> we're gonna talk about how he didn't get no crime for this haircut. Y'all know the deal by now. Every criminal with a bad cut, they gotta add like three more days for this, bruh. Now take a look around the courtroom. Something is missing. The court deputy. After Cordero was given his sentence, he was reportedly told to sit down and wait by the judge. And when this was happening, the deputy was just walking into the courtroom. And he decides he doesn't want to go to jail today. So, he walks out of the courtroom. The deputy follows and picks up her speed. <laughs> no, judge, you know what? I actually don't want to go to jail today. I'm gonna just walk out. Hey, I gotta clap it up to him, bro, for thinking that shit was even gonna work. Now, keep your eye on the top right of the screen. Cordero is out the door and full out sprinting. He makes it across the street and the deputies try and catch up. It appears Cordero might have made it, but reportedly... Did you see the way he was built? Sorry to tell you this, buddy. I'm not gonna make it far built like this. It appears Cordero might have made it, but reportedly he was recaptured five to 10 minutes later in a wooded area. Cordero now faces new charges, including escaping lawful custody and resisting and obstructing a police officer. What do y'all think is gonna happen? Your stars is gonna go down on some GTA shit and you won't escape? This is Tanner Jacobson, and to his right is Cody Howard and they're in Chehalis, Washington. They are both dressed in prisoner uniforms and handcuffed as they appear on the third floor of the Lewis County Courthouse. Jacobson is in for charges of reckless driving and driving with a suspended license. Howard is in for charges of second degree burglary, first degree trafficking in stolen property, third degree driving with a suspended license, and two warrants for failure to appear in Get that thug off the streets! God damn, nigga got everything in the book! Or right here is Judge R.W. Buzzard. It appears there are no deputies in the room. Then Howard and Jacobson decide to do the unexpected and make a run for it. First goes Howard, then Jacobson. It appears this bystander almost goes after the scapees, but is held back. Judge Buzzard. He said, even if I chase them, my charges is not going to diminish. I'm okay. Y'all can get them. Doesn't hesitate. You can see him ripping off his robe and going after the two men. They just made it out of the courtroom, but they're still in their handcuffs and sandals. This man has a whole belly and y'all let him catch up. I, I can't believe that, bro. Y'all deserve to get prison. Now, in the third floor stairwell. 
Judge Buzzard is closing in. With only one more floor to go, it's going to be a close one. After Jacobson takes a quick look around, he's out the door and gone. But for Howard, not that easy. Judge Buzzard caught up and captured him. Jacobson was later picked up a couple blocks away. I only get like four blocks and then I stop. Like I just stopped on my own. I'm like, oh sure, 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 sure. So your ass wanna stop when you're near the exit and not in the stairs or any time before that? You only said you gonna stop because your ass got caught. No damn what that nigga was gonna try to make that jump. We know you, Lester. What am I doing right now? I said, what am I doing? What did I just do? I gotta go with it now. There's nothing, I can't stop right here. There's nothing I could do now. I'm, I'm screwed. We were sitting. You should have said that to the drugs, buddy. They are on the benches together and he's like, he's like, I'm gonna run. It was just a split second, like, decision. I don't even know why I did it. Like, I would be out of here if I wouldn't have ran. They were both charged with second degree escape. Reportedly, Jacobson was sentenced to one year and one day. And Howard was sentenced to just over three years behind bars. This and they were initially probably gonna get a couple weeks or some shit. That's so goofy. Is Joel Delgado? He's currently being brought to the Pulaski County Courthouse in Little Rock, Arkansas. He's brought into court to face multiple charges. Look, I, I know, I know, I I know I'm clowning all of them, but can you blame me? This nigga looked like he stored a PlayStation 5 in his head. This is actually a Roblox Steam build. I've never seen a head so built like a Pentagon. God, nigga, you see the quarters? In his ears. The nigga heard his charges coming from a mile away. He got me feeling better about my head. Central burglary and theft of services. Reportedly, <gasps> this is that he looks like the dude from Star Trek. <laughs> Multiple charges, including residential burglary and theft of services. Reportedly, during his arrest, he claimed he was injured, so he was brought to a hospital. Now, the sheriff deputy is currently escorting Delgado into the courthouse to face his charges. But steps before they enter the door, Delgado loses his shoe, which just might be a distraction for his getaway plan. Oh, so now you can walk again. Okay, okay. Hey, you see a shoe back there? Where is it? With Delgado being in a neck brace and a wheelchair, it appears he can't walk, but he sure can run. Delgado then bolts across the street and down an alley. Look, I swear, for the last five minutes, he's been sprinting, and he made it from the exit to here. How slow is this nigga? Matter of fact, this is the nigga that needs the wheelchair. Oh, I'm gonna catch you, baby. Look! I'll put a suit up. The deputy seems to lose him and searches through the streets. Dog, is he running or walking? Looking for the suspect. Hey, can you call the police for me? Call the police for me. Call the police. What way he go? Went straight through the alley. Cut that way. What's in your phone? My damn radio came No, he's breathing. That man is big as shit, bruh. Y'all gotta hire some fit police officers. Can I try to get him? Hello? The wheelchair dude got up and ran. Yeah. I couldn't catch his The wheel. I don't think you can catch anything built like that, buddy. Sure, dude. I couldn't catch Bill. After no luck, the deputy makes it back to the front of the courthouse. The wheelchair dude ran. He had a neck brace on and all this did he really? Yeah. Uh, he didn't need that wheelchair very much, did he? What is the point of having a fat police officer? I'm not even trying to be mean or none. What's the point? They definitely not gonna catch up to the criminal. If anything, that's worse because it gives the criminals more space to aim for their body. <laughs> There's literally only negatives to having big police officers. Think about it. Oh, they make for good meat shields? Hey, yo, Tony, get your big ass in front of me as we shoot this nigga. Nah, I can see that. I can see that. Hell no. The deputy then meets up with his colleagues and breaks the news. Dude, where am I? Hey, yo. What? He took yeah. off? Yeah, I couldn't catch that dude. He jumped the rail. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my camera, bro. Oh, what's that, uh, man? <laughs> he jumped the rail, kicked his, uh, his shoe head came off. I've been down to get his shoe. He just ran. Took off on you, man. Yeah. 
Should have had Kirk into the wheelchair. However, the suspect's freedom was short-lived, as he was caught a few hours later, where he claimed he was injured and couldn't walk again. And now he faces- Dude, they're not gonna give you the second chance again. You know damn well both of that shit gonna be cuffed. This is an additional charge of third-degree escape. Reportedly, Delgado has pleaded not guilty to all charges against him. This is Callum Fitner in Bradford Crown Court in the UK. He's here to help support his 17-year-old friend who is currently on the other side of this door. And he's about to burst through and make a run for it. The teenage escapee you see was reportedly just sentenced to 21 weeks in custody for that's what I don't get. Look, the only time I'm really gonna escape courtroom, bruh, is if they give my ass like hella years and I can't serve it. Y'all are leaving prison for four months? You do know if they caught your ass, nigga, it's gonna be a year, right? Why are people this stupid? The theft of a mobile phone. But keep your eye on Fitner, as he's about to press the button for an automatic door to open, leading his friend to freedom. That's a real nigga, bro. That's a real nigga right there. First goes the teenager, then one, two, three, four security officers chasing the suspect. And it appears Fitner takes a different route out of the building. The teenage phone bandit makes it out of the courthouse and is gone. And it appears the security officers lost him. And for Fitner, he walks out casually hopping down the steps like nothing ever happened. The teenage- but then now that I think about it, do I blame him for escaping? UK police officers don't even carry guns on them. Wait, now that I think about it, how do UK police officers catch anyone? Hey there, hey, you better come back here, buddy. You better come back here, bud. You won't threaten to stab the nigga? Hey. For two days, when he was arrested and sentenced to an extra six months in jail for the escape, Fitner pleaded guilty to aiding and abetting his friend's escape and was jailed for three months. Dumbass niggas, bruh, and that's why you shouldn't escape. But anyways, YouTube, don't escape prison unless it's more than 10 years. Real talk. If you're watching YouTube, make sure you guys subscribe. Join us on Discord, catch us on Twitch, all that good stuff. Black Star for life. Love y'all. And peace.